Welcome to statistics video number one, creating a frequency distribution chart and a histogram in Excel 2010 using the frequency function. There's actually three different ways you can accomplish creating a histogram in Excel. Download the document below to see the other two ways as well as a more detailed description of the example I'm about to show you. Okay, so you want to start by entering your sample data in Excel. I entered 20 columns of data ranging from negative 7 to 23. Next you need to determine the bin limits. Think of these bins as intervals or how you want to group the sample data. There's a number of ways to go about this. I use the common method which entails dividing the range by 10 which in this case equals 3 so each interval is going to be a grouping of 3. So starting with the minimum value of the sample data the first interval is negative 7 to negative 4. So if we add 1 to each of the upper values, that's the new lower value. And if we add 3 to the upper value, that is the new upper value and so forth. So if I go ahead and drag this down, I want to drag it down so we reach the maximum value of the sample data which is 23 and it went a little bit too far. There we go. And so the bin limits are actually the upper value of each interval. So I'm going to copy and paste these over. I'm going to paste special to just paste the values. And again, you can download the document below for a more detailed description of the bin intervals. So after we finish the intervals and bin limits, we are now ready to create the frequency distribution table. Select the range of the cells to the right of the bin limits. Type equals frequency in the formula bar. Hit the tab key. Select the sample data insert a comma and then select the bin limit range then hold down both the control and shift keys and press enter to treat this formula as an array and now we can create the histogram chart so highlight the range E2 to F12 or actually it is F2 to G12, click the insert tab and select column chart cluster 2D column. Now we need to format the chart. Right click within the chart and select select data. Click the edit button beneath the horizontal access label and select the data under the bins header in order to use that range as the basis for the x-axis. Click OK and then remove the bins label beneath the legend entries and click OK one last time and there we have a histogram. Thanks for watching.